day run on my way to a new spot. I think I'm actually in Marlborough at the moment, not Canterbury. Someone sent me a message saying this could be a good place for fossils. So I'm gonna go have a look. I'm just trying to find my way down to the beach. I'm here in the hills. The wind is howling. I saw a herd of sheep in front. Maybe I can follow them down to the beach. <laughs> down to the beach that took a lot longer than I thought and I think there are concretions on this beach I'll let you know as soon as I find something well I'm about two hours in I haven't seen anything yet but I think I see something down here have a look there's a concretion down there between these rocks and I can see there's something sticking out I thought it was a shell at first but I think I see legs on the top side. Oh yeah! <laughs> yeah, there's a crab in there. You can see the three legs sticking out there. Not sure what that would be. There are the other three legs. Okay, so there's crabs down here. I don't know what species it is. It's quite a big one. Awesome. <laughs> okay, now I'm awake again. Let's see if there's more around. Here's the smallest crab I've found in a while. <laughs> it is tiny, tiny, tiny. You can see there's a leg going off on the right there. There's still a bit of the carapace in there. Might be a fun one to spend now I'm trying to prep. I'm happy with that. I think I might have stumbled on a little hot zone. That's where I found the tiny, tiny crab. And have a look there. Can you spot the crab? There, I think that's a leg sticking out there. Let's have a look together. Yeah, that's a crab. That's definitely a crab. Strange, there's nothing else sticking out. I don't see any legs. Oh wait, there's some leg holes there. Very, very faint. And there's some tiny leg holes on that side as well. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's a, that's a good sized crab. And it will be very complete. It will be a fun one to prep. Awesome. Suddenly I've gone from zero crabs to three in the matter of 10 meters. Or call it 20 meters. <laughs> I've just turned the camera off from finding this one. I turned around and look what I spot. Sorry, the wind's terrible today. I think that's crab number four. I think that's one. Yeah, that's definitely a crab. <laughs> that's really cool. I'm going to mark this spot on the GPS. The tide's not super low today, so it might be worth coming back with a very low tide. I'm not sure what the species of crab are here. I'm still having a look here at the little crab hotspot. And here's something for all the rock hounds out there. Have a look at this piece of jasper. That is beautiful. I haven't seen one this color before, this really yellow. Might take this home. It'd be worth getting it cut and having a look. I was wondering when I was going to find my first bit of whalebone. And here it is. Not super interesting. <laughs> I think it's just bits of bone throughout it. Still nice to find. You know they were out here, cetaceans. 
might be some ear bones around. Have a look at what I see. <laughs> That's a big crab. You can just see it's been worn away at the top there. That's a pretty one. I like this one. Oh, it's a giant. <laughs> That's so cool. It's got a bit of damage to the top there. There's crab number five for today. It's turning into such a good crab spot. So stoked with this one. This is the biggest crab I've found in a while. Look at the size of that shell. That's the biggest one I've seen. <laughs> I'm just keeping an eye out for any shark teeth sticking out of this cliff. I've never found one in the cliff. They must be in there with their shells. I'm on my way back to the car. I probably still have about six kilometers to go. <laughs> just stumbled across this. First I noticed this little bit sticking out here. I thought it could just be a shell. Then I just flipped it over. And there's more sticking out and that looks like a crab leg. This could be a giant crab. <laughs> I mean, that's big. If it's from there to there, it's going to be big. I'm also not 100% convinced it is a crab. I don't know what it could be. It is probably a crab, but, you know, I'm going to take it home. It's going to be a heavy carry. It could be something else. Thinking crab, though. Oh, awesome. That's, a, that's the final of the day. Because there's definitely something in there, there, going through to the other side. Where there's a crab or something else, it's it's big. Okay, so I'm still five k's from where I parked, and I'm heavily loaded. But look what I just found! <laughs> I don't know if you can make out there, but there's legs sticking out of this concretion, and it's such a good size and shape. It's probably about almost 10 kilograms. No, maybe eight kilograms. The only thing sticking out are those little legs over there. So you know this crab is going to be in such good shape. I can't leave it behind. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to have to take it. My backpack's getting really, really heavy. Can't leave that one behind. That's, that's a perfect, perfect crab in there. Okay, let me get it loaded up. just found these two floats and they've actually got the phone numbers and names of whoever's floats that are on there. I'll take these two home. I mean they're plastic, they shouldn't be out here. And text the guys and see if they want them still. Okay, I'm finally back in the hills. It is a scorcher of a day today. And look what I randomly find. That is a shark's tooth. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's a decent sized shark's tooth. I don't see any serrations. Awesome. <laughs> this has been a really good hunt. I was just coming over to have a look at this rock that's been smashed around a bit <laughs> by a digger or something. And I noticed just on the side of it, it's a bone. I don't recognize it at all. I 
I'm not sure if it's actually fossilized. It looks really, really old. It looks like some of the moa bone I found. How random is that? That's a penny. So that says New Zealand, 1960. Queen Elizabeth II. <laughs> That's very cool. I found many of these with my metal detector, but I haven't found one fossil hunting before. It's not bad, it's a 60 year old coin. It's very good shape. Well, I made it back. That was a really, really hot day for New Zealand. 35 degrees Celsius. Not sure what it's in Fahrenheit, but I'll put it at the bottom here. And it was so windy. I was walking along this ridge line at the top of that hill, and it was a close thing to being blown off there. But made it back, and I've got about 35 kilograms worth of fines. Let's have a look here. The salt was the, the bigger crab, so I've got the one, two, three big crabs at the top here. I'm really excited about this one. Let's move the shark tooth. I'm really excited about this one just because it's such a good round shape and the round ones when you prep them they frame the crab really nicely. There's a leg sticking out over there. Not seeing much else. And there's one other leg. I think most of the crab's going to be in there. This one will be a fun prep. I know it's damaged to the top of the crab here. But I always think it gives it a bit of character then. This one. <laughs> this is a monster. <laughs> you can see the crab leg sticking out there. And it actually looks like that could be the tip of a claw. Very strange looking one. And the only other thing I can see sticking out is on this side. And you can see there in the center of the picture. I think that's the leg coming out there. And there's another bit of leg up top here. Those top three concretions are very hard. They're going to be slow preps. This one is fun. <laughs> I think that's the shell sticking at the top there. And you can see there's a little bit of the claw coming through in the front there. And then, of course, the one, two, three legs on that side. And the three legs on that side as well. And the three small crabs. This is a really cute one. This one I'm definitely going to try and give a quick prep. Won't take long. This one I like. It reminds me of that last one I tried to prep where it was all broken. I might do a ventral prep at the bottom here, seeing as most of it's exposed already. And this one. Here's a claw sticking out. It'll also be quite a fun prep. Big piece of jasper I found. I like bringing the jaspers home every now and again. This one might be worth sending off to have a cut and polish. And then the shark tooth. Oh, there you can see, I think that's the shell sticking out. The shark tooth is very hollow. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's, it's super light and hollow, which is strange. It's also got a bit of a curve to it. No serrations that I can see. If anyone knows what that tooth could be, please leave a comment. I've been sticking with the smaller ones. Not even a fossil, but just a relic. <laughs> a 1960 penny from New Zealand. You can see that looks like a Tui bird on there. And there's Queen Elizabeth II. She's still alive, but she doesn't look like that anymore. Let's go see if we can prep these two quickly. Quite interested to see what kind of crab this is. I don't recognize that claw color. And this one shouldn't take long. I hope there's something left after I prep it. It's so small.
I'm done with the prep work on these three. Well, this one for now. This one I started, spent about an hour, and then I've paused it for now while I carry on with the big crab. I just wanted to really ID the species, and I can see all three of these look to be Tumidocarcinus crabs. I uh, just wanted to see if this was maybe a different species, one I don't have yet. It's interesting, they're all very similar colors, that really orangey color as opposed to that darker color, which I get at the other area. Let's see, strange how the different areas have different colors. I'm not sure if that's just the process of how the fossil formed or if the crabs from that area were actually a different color. Here's a really small crab. I thought it was going to be a complete crab, but it's just uh, maybe 30% off the bottom of a crab. It's missing the claws, it's missing the legs. This is the other little one I found. Unfortunately, my time lapse bombed out on this one, so I couldn't pick, capture it. Uh, this is the head, also the bottom of the crab. This is where the head would be. This is the tail. Missing the legs, missing the claws over there. Something quite interesting about the tiny one is something burrowed into it at some point and lifted this whole part of the carapace up. And I'm wondering if it happened before the fossil was formed, because you can see it actually got fossilized in that position. And I think if it would have happened afterwards, it would have burrowed through the fossil. Quite interesting. Thanks for joining me, everyone. That was a great hunt. It was always nice to get to a new spot even with that heat. See you on the next hunt. If you want to have a look at another cool YouTube channel about fossils, have a look at Digging Science. He dives in those creeks in Florida and finds some really cool fossils, including mammoth teeth, shark teeth, and all sorts of other things. It's definitely worth a watch. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. No idea what it's from. Oops. <laughs>